Good morning, dogs. It's hump day. After a pledge will be booster club, crash call out meeting, hot dog challenge, and more. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The Frankfurt Booster Club is excited to announce they have added pork burgers and pulled pork barbecue to the menu at the concession stands. They will be rotated at each game. This Friday will be pork burgers. Also, the Kona Ice Truck will be at all of our city home games in this season. In addition to the ice truck, the coffee truck will be at the games on September 15th and October 6th. Bring your friends and family and enjoy while you cheer on the hot dogs. There is a crash call out meeting this Friday during community in the back of the cafeteria. Please attend if interested. The hot dog challenge is back. For those of you that do not know, the hot dog challenge is an intense battle of the students. There are games that are both physically demanding and mentally challenging. They are minute to win it style games and will be competing on Sunday, September 24th at 4.30 p.m. You will compete in teams of six, three boys and three girls. It can be in any grade, but you must have three boys and three girls. The competitions will be scored and the top three teams with the highest score will compete against the teachers at our homecoming pep session, who will be the Hot Dog Challenge champs this year. A sign up form has been sent out to your emails as of yesterday to create your team. Please see Ms. Mrs. Hall, Mr. Taylor, or Mr. Jewell with questions. Picture day is tomorrow. Make sure you dress to impress and show off your wonderful outfits. Now to Aiden for sports. Good morning, dogs. It's hump day. Lots of sports to talk about today. We'd love to see it. To start things off, both the JV and varsity volleyball teams won their home opener against North Montgomery last night. Coach Rushton says the offensive combination of Lily Rockhold, Brooklyn Perry, and Justine Thomas helped fill the enthusiasm for the team. Jalen Smith had 25 assists and 5 aces. Brooklyn Perry had 2 blocks and 7 kills. Lily Rockhold had 9 kills, and Justine Thomas had 6 kills and 3 aces. Ella McAtee and Chloe Mowdy had 2 kills and a block each. The defense had a solid night with Ashley Zane picking up 13 digs, Morgan Harrington with 11, Caroline Queen with 10, and Tiffany Zhang and Daisy Valdez each had four digs. The JV won a tough three-game match, 2-1. to one. Chloe Mowdy had six kills and five aces. Chloe Kingma had ten assists and three kills. Addie Keck had four aces and three kills. And Ellie Perez had four kills and three aces. Before leaving the floor with an injury, Vega had two aces and five digs. Jasmine Valdez had two kills, and Melanie Sandoval had three digs. Aaron Wells played a solid all-around match, and Emily Gilgihosa passed well. Their next game is tomorrow at Delphi. Nice win, ladies. That student section last night was a ton of fun. Results from the 11-way cross-country meet have come in. Coach Galati states the girls' team finished fourth out of nine teams, defeating Western Boone and Southmont in the process to put them 2-0 against Sagamore Conference teams. They were led by Alina Ramirez in 18th place. The boys team finished 5th out of 9 teams, also defeating Western Boone and Southmont to be 2-0 in the conference. Christopher Angelis led the race impressively wire-to-wire, -wire, winning the meet by 29 seconds over a couple of state meet qualifiers from last season. Incredible job, everyone. No way I could have ran through that heat. Last night, the boys' tennis team played a very good Northwestern team. Coach Calvert says the hot dogs continue to improve as they doubled the number of games won against the Wildcats compared to last season. Many players found themselves in new roles and did a great job stepping up to the challenge. Jackson Ray played his first one singles match and embraced all the pressures that go along with that position. We would like to wish them a good luck tonight as they play McCutcheon starting at 5 o'clock. Nice job, boys. With a very late game last night, the boys' soccer team unfortunately fell to McCutcheon 1-3, that goal being scored by freshman Sebastian Morin on a free kick. Coach Tyson says, even two goals down and in the heat, the Hot Dogs kept playing and creating chances. While the score line wasn't ideal, the Hot Dogs traded 
more chances than the opposition and defended well, but couldn't quite capitalize on their chances as efficiently as their opponent. Nice effort, boys. And to finish up sports for today, the girls' soccer team is traveling to Crawfordsville to play the Athenians, and that will start at 5.30. Go get them, ladies. That just about wraps up sports for today for this wonderful Wednesday. I hope everyone has a great hump day. Now we'll send it to Ingrid with today's weather. Good morning, hot dogs. We have some new information for the weather today. From different resources, we have seen that we currently have excessive heat warnings until Friday at 12 a.m. Make sure to stay cool and have some water with you at all times. Today the weather looks like we're having a high of temperature of 93 and the lowest we have is 69 with pretty good sunny skies. Stay cool and have a good, great Wednesday. Now back to your host, Doug and Edwin. The answer to yesterday's trivia was Edwin. Many of you got it, but the first to respond with the correct answer was Esme Vasquez. Congratulations. For lunch in lines one and two will be hot dogs with a side of onion rings. And line three will be soup and salad bar. And line four will be chicken sandwich. A big happy birthday shout out goes to Carlos Hernandez, Melvin Lopez Mayorga, Azul Mejia, and Jason Valles Hernandez. That's it for today, dogs. Have a wacky Wednesday. Hey,